Welcome to the AWS command line session. In this lecture, we are going to talk about AWS CLI. As a DevOps engineer, you should be very familiar with the command line interface. Don't worry, we are going to list all the commands. I will show you how you can find a command for your tags and execute them. So first, we have to install an AWS CLI. If you are using Windows, you can install AWS CLI using Chocolate. Choco install AWS CLI. So open PowerShell. And click on Administrative. Run as an administrator. So run the command chuko install AWS CLI and you click enter. As you can see, I already have the AWS CLI installed in my Windows machine. After installation, we are going to open it through our Git bash. So, Git bash. Type AWS. Have to check version. You can see AWS CLI 2.15 by Git Python is being installed in our machine. We have to configure our AWS CLI. Configuration involves authentication of our AWS account. So first, we have to create an IM user. So let's go to our AWS account. First, let's click, type IM. So IM is a managed access to AWS resource. You manage the access of the actual AWS resource. So you click on it. So you navigate to user, click on user. And click on create user. You have to give the name. Let me say. King mean do not attach do not enable the cons the console access so we don't have to click here so you click on next So we have to attach a policy directly. So you click on attach policy directly. So we are going to use administrator access. Click on it. But if you are creating a user for someone else, Assign policies based on required service. Each, for example, S3 bucket access only. If you are creating this user for an S3 bucket, 
so in this case we are using administrator access so we click on administrator access we scroll down and you click next <laughs> Then you click, you can see the username and the policy, that is the policy, administrator access. In some cases, you can put tax, it's optional. So you click create a user. Our user is being created admin so we have to create security credentials so you click on the king admin you move you can see permissions groups tax and security credentials so we click on the security credentials We scroll down, then we click on access keys. So we click on create access key. Use cases. So we are going to use a command line interface CLI. So you click on command line interface CLI. <laughs> Confirmation, I understand the above recommendation. You click on it, and you click on next. Select description tag is optional. Click on create business key. As you can see, our access key is being created. You can now download the C SV5 and it should be noted here. Do not share your access key and secret key with anyone. If exposed, attackers may misuse your AWS account for activities like Bitcoin mining or ransomware attack. If compromised, you should delete or deactivate the key immediately. It's very, very important. So now we have to open our Git bash and to configure our AWS CLI. So, so let's move on and open our Git bash. So first we have to type aws configure so we have to configure the access key and the secret key in this account and the access key and the secret key is like the username and the password so click enter you can see aws access key id so you copy the access key ID. Copy this one. And paste it there. Enter. AWS secret access key. So you can copy your secret access key. Or if you wish, you can click show. I put it in mind after this session i'm going to delete my access and secret key you can see the default region us east one so i will use the same default region it depends on where you want to run your project I'll use US East one.
default output format json so i will, I will use json and then click enter so now we have already configured our access key and public key into our git bash this is a communication to the aws account The credentials are stored here. Yeah. So you can see the config and the credentials. Yeah, the, the two files you have the config and the credentials. The config file contains the output and region. So let's check it and see. Path slash config. <laughs> You can see the default region and the output JSON. So why the credentials contain the access key and the secret key? So let's check. One mistake, my bad. Once we complete the configuration, the AWS will not service CSV file and we click done. We cannot access the access key and the secret key anymore, except we can go to our download download folder. So let's verify the AWS CLI setup right now. AWS STS get <laughs> color identity identity. You can see the exam output. You can see the user ID. You can see the account. That's the account name. She's a user slash king admin. So it's been verified. So let's um, check the running EC2 instance on our AWS account. So here is the command AWS EC2 described. Last instance. Slash instance. AWS EC2 describes slash instance. You can see reservation. It means we don't have any instance currently running. So if no instance. If no instance are running, 
it will return an empty list. So that is what is happening here. So we are going to use ChatGPT to find out some of the AWS CLI command. Instead of memorizing everything, you can use ChatGPT to generate your AWS CLI command based on your requirement. So let me move on my ChatGPT. Let me type AWS CLI commands so we can see. So as you can see, there is no need for you to memorize anything. You can see AWS configure, the version, AWS configure list, AWS STL, AWS MB slash the, S, the, the bucket name. So there's no need for you to memorize any of the CLI comments. You can use chat GPT. If you want. So let's go back to our console. So we can delete our user by clicking on the user. Click on the user. Click on the name. And you click delete. To confirm deletion, you enter the username in the text input file. So I have to enter the username. King admin King admin and I click delete user. The user is being deleted. You cannot have access to my secret key. Anymore. Thanks for watching.